Hi folks, Jeff from Orange Acres Cars and today we're going to show you this 80 inch by 10 foot economy raft trailer and those chickens but you probably want to see the trailer but who doesn't want to see a chicken? but we'll look at the trailer alrighty now this is our economy line trailer uh, they're a little bit cheaper than our full subframe trailers the big difference on the economy trailers is they're going to have a 2 by 3 angle side. These are going to be primarily for hauling a raft. Um, you could probably haul, a, you know, like a riding lawnmower or ATV or something as well. You know, it's not like it's the only use, but it's going to be limited to how much weight it can carry over a large span. So that's the difference, but still probably better than your run-of-the-mill cheap manufactured trailer. These are handcrafted here in Montana made with wood that's uh, milled at Tricon Lumber in St. Regis. And let's cover a couple little things about it. It's a tri-frame tongue, just like all our trailers. Even though this is the economy model, we don't skimp and make the tongue any thinner or uh, less strong because it's just such an essential part of the trailer. So you got a 3 16 uh, 3 by 3 squares tube, and then you got 2 by 3 angle A-frame on each side that's also 3 16 as well. So a little bit thicker than what you'd find for your normal trailer. It's got a two inch uh, ball, and that is coupler is rated for 3,500 pounds, I believe. Yep, 3,500 pounds. And I have put the winch strap on, but there's a 20 foot winch strap that goes on there as well. Forgot to do that, just realized. Second time I've done that. Last time I delivered it all the way to town first, but uh, it's got stake pockets and tie down loops on the front, and on the winch stand as well. Underneath, you will find a two by two subframe and that's the big difference between this and the uh, heavy duty premium model it's got a, it still has three inch channel above the wheels and it crosses, crawls in, it crosses into the, cross, the three inch channel cross member but then it has two by two cross members in the front and rear or two by three cross members I'm sorry this also has a 13 inch tire and wheel but it still has the 3500 pound GVW easy lube axle now even though this trailer isn't intended to carry 3500 pounds we use the bigger axle because they have a bigger bearing in them and they last longer so yeah, inside that dust cap you'll find a greaser and once a season or once a year you should grease that bearing now if you're gonna put it be put it back in and out of the water you need to consult the owner's manual the hell often it's obviously you're gonna grease it more so uh, on the back you will find a DOT lighting of course in the boxed in tail light and you can see that's a boxed in tail light protector even though it's the economy model we still put those on um, it's just a little bit more money for those but it saves your tail light from getting run into or backed into something and for the most part we see way more broken ones than we do see burnt out ones so uh, they're a little it saves you a lot of uh, space that's my dog Grizz by the way and on the back of course is the roller bar and you can see that's how that works and it is removable you can uh, undo the lock nuts on the edge and adjust it as well as uh, take it off completely if you'd like to as well and if you put some WD-40 on there they'll spin a little bit faster but uh, no there's no bearings or anything in our in our roller bars because they fill with sand and they fill with dirt and dust from the road and then they don't work turn at all and they'd be kind of pointless to have like I said our decking is fur decking milled in uh, Tricon in uh, St. Regis and if you'll see we use a clamp down style um, board holders so there's a pocket in the back and a pocket in the front and in the center here there's a double clamp and this has a three or a uh, seven sixteenths uh, grade eight bolt that has been welded to the bars there's three of them all the way down so if you ever want to take off your decking you just undo those lock washers and nuts underneath there and uh, you can take the decking all the way off as well as it's got three stake pockets on each side so if you want to build some racks say you had to move across the country and throw a couple couches on there or a bed or something like that and you wanted to build a set of sides on there or whatever you wanted to do with it or hey just put a bang board in the front to keep your raft from catching a lot of rocks now this is a 10 foot trailer so it'd be okay to use with a 12 foot raft you know if you're going to get to a 14 foot you might want to look into one of our heavy duty uh, uh, 12 foot trailers and you can see it's got this has got the economy swing lock jack too and so uh, you can put your boat right over the top of that if you wanted to as well so that's it come on out and check out our website orangemt.com if this one's not available uh, we might have another one for you 
Um, so make sure you just give me a call at 370-5466. Thanks for tuning in.